All right, guys, this is hired request number 72 on the current list. Uh, it's Dancing on My Own by Callum Scott. It's just a piano solo arrangement here. And I'm going to do the part one. It sounds like this. Three. Four, five. And so forth. Hello everyone, I'm Sean Cheek and welcome to my Easy Piano Lessons. We're about to do the part one lesson here. All of the lessons for this are on my website. I don't have it written up here like I usually do. Webpianoteacher.com. Webpianoteacher.com. And get all the lessons to this, plus thousands of other lessons that I've done over the past 11, 12 years. And uh, check me out on Facebook. Just do a Facebook search for webpianoteacher.com. And let's get started here. This part one, it's, it's uh, a lot of it's very repetitive. And, you know, part of the, the challenge is just keeping your place where you are. And at the very beginning, we're going to do this little mode of five times. D flat, A flat. And then three more A flats, and the rhythm is da 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 da. Now, if you want to let your right hand help out on some of this stuff, you can certainly do that. You can go, you know. And I have it all written in the left hand just because it's you know more ba bass clef what you left hand usually does. But I don't know what the uh, arranger of this intended. So there are the notes, and you can of course let your right hand help out. But it's five times one. Two, three, four, five. And then it changes. The bass notes changes. First it goes A flat, two, an A flat, another A flat, then D flat, A flat, A flat. So that measure right there is bum, 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 bum. Right? Syncopated rhythm, da, 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 offbeat, offbeat, bum, bum. Then we have bum bum, which will be G flat, D flat in the left. The right hand can take the B flat, A flat. Do that one time, and then you do D flat, A flat, or D flat, A flat, A flat three times. And there's where you can let the right hand take it. Okay? So you do it three times. One, two, three. One more measure, and then we'll start to put it together. So it's D flat octave in the left hand. Then right hand can do A flat, A flat again, D flat left, right hand A flat, another A flat. So, you know, or you can do right, left hand, all of it, whatever you fancy. Now, uh, after that, I have a dot to dot there, four times total. That means go from this dot to this dot, four times total. So we've really already, we've already done it once, so it's three more times. So let's do it the second time now. And go. One, two, three, keep going. Here's the next time. So it's four times total for the black dot to black dot part. You only play this at the beginning. It's kind of intro. Two, five times. At 58 seconds, which is where we will be in this video, how to play Dancing on My Own, Callum Scott, uh, we have this. four times uh, and what I have here written small there is one two three four and I have letters notes you know by the sides of those letters uh, B flat the first time so B flat well, down here <laughs> B flat octave then a D flat the second time through the third time D flat again and the fourth time B flat 
Okay, when it goes through four times and it's very similar, I think it's easier just to write it one time and to show you where the differences happen. And us, all of us who are visual learners, that makes a lot more sense to us that way. So um, let's look at the right hand first, and then we'll look at the, the left hand changes. But the right hand does not change. F, A flat, D flat, one, two, five. You play the A flat, D flat again. Okay, so it's da 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 da. Kind of accent the chord part. Ba, 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 ba. Then we have E flat, A flat, D flat. Okay, so all you do is move that thumb down to E flat. Then we have E flat, A flat, C. Do that for uh, half a measure. Then we go to this. So it's there, it's G flat, A flat, D flat, one, two, five. Stay on it, stay on it, stay on it till the very last note there's a C. Okay, so the right hand just continues with the eighth note or sixteenth notes, however you're counting it. Sixteenths, I think. The left hand. All right, the first time through, give me a B flat octave, and then we'll do A flat. I have F there because just on the fourth time, there's an F. That's it. Or this F if you want. Right? I like the lower one. Then G flat octave, G flat, G flat. <clears throat> really, I wouldn't worry too much about uh, the left hand. Just kind of vamp whatever octave you're on. That is how I would do it. But it's four times for that line. Um, for this line, four times. One, two, three, four. And, uh, you know, first time B flat, second time D flat, third time D flat, fourth time B flat. So let's do it all four times. And this is at 58 seconds. Here we go. Second time, it's D flat. A third time, D flat again. Fourth time, B flat. F. Okay, so see that? When I did that fourth time, I put the F in there. Bum, bum. And that's that section there. So we'll pick up right here in the part two on webpianoteacher.com. Hope you guys enjoyed the part one. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later.